Hello friends, welcome to the Julia Programming Learning Module. This is just a little introduction. I won't say it's a perfect package for you, but it tells you about how it is comparative with other programming languages in particular. Well friends, Julia is just another high level programming language. It is a high performance dynamic programming language and talks about being a general purpose as well and is used for writing any application well suited for numeric analysis and the computational science in particular. Also, it has a multi-paradigm, multiple dispatch, procedural, functional, and multi-staged characteristic. It has been designed by Jeff Bezasen, Alan Edelman, Stefan Karpensky, and Viral B. Shah. Above all, designed and developed, well, it first appeared in 2012 and of course with the release coming up now with the recent ping 1.6.0 slated on 12, 24th of March in particular and also dynamic, strong, nominative, parametric and contains implementation with reference to various platforms supporting operating system that of Linux, Mac, Windows and has been you know openly available with the aspect including that of the parametric polymorphism as one of the features of object oriented programming, dynamic programming language with the core programming paradigm. It supports concurrent parallel and distributed computing and is a garbage collected. Eager evaluation includes efficient libraries for floating point calculations, linear algebra, random number generation, and regular expression. It also talks about uh, as a general purpose programming language for technical computing, numerical computing, and also talks about providing ability to define function behavior across many combinations of argument types in particular. This is your instructor, Dr. Dheeraj Marutra. I shall take you with a little basics on Julia programming. Enjoy the learning. Well, friends, uh, to download, uh, of course, we need to go to a platform. Here it says, julialang.org get started with julia the julia programming language check out our julia academy which was prepared by the core julia developers in collaboration with julia computing you know so here i come to click on and obviously i get the platform where it says julia academy the manual getting started with julia it has a specific youtube platform as well which is one of the shop for all things on YouTube recordings and there are a few MOOCs which has been created you know using Julia we have also curated set of Julia video tutorials you know so these tutorials help you explore the non-exhaustive list of community provided Julia tutorials in a way we have introduction to Julia by Dr. Jane Harinsman then we have data science Julia for data science, computational modeling in Julia and we also have Julia Academy getting started with Julia Academy, introduction to dataframes.jl, foundations of machine learning, deep learning and then of course some of the books are also there, Think Julia, Julia programming, computer vision with Julia, algorithms for optimization, data science with Julia, Julia high performance programming numerical computational fundamentals and then of course we have that readiness in the classroom encouraging instructors so what we are waiting for just download using the click download here and when we do so we download Julia and uh, of course we tend to reflect on these ideas so current stable releases include for Windows then we have for Mac and then Linux so we have a Mac system here. So I'll just go to the 64-bit and I download this particular platform. 
it gets downloaded and then of course I get to you know execute that once it is there on my screen Julia 1.6 uh, Mac and of course it gets downloaded so I've already got Julia 1.6 installed here I open it and friends I get the opening screen here which talks about Julia and the reference it talks about uh, login May 2 and this is the time and we have the prompt here for Julia right so it says uh, for package help for help we write just the question mark and it converts us to help and it helps you clear whatever you feel like search for accordingly and then you can even write the package you want the help for so that's basically is also included there and then of course to clear the screen to close we can always do this with the clear screen and uh, use different methods so if you want help of course we put a question mark there and we write CLD so it tells you about the CLD it tells you how to include CLD is more integer and other generic platform and it helps you even with uh, you know the examples so that's first form of Julia we can even get some of the wonderful attributes on this particular platform by checking and getting to know the reflective idea and also with uh, coming out of Julia we press control D so we just press control D and we come out of Julia right control D and see it says process completed right and then it comes out so that's one way of doing things and uh, the other commands reflect on very simple format which includes control L to clear the screen say for some activities we do some computation we do here so that's like if we do something which is not clear we get an error and then we get the value we also have hello world here right so this is the format and here control L control L will clear the screen like this yeah and then control D to come out of the Julia then we have uh, something like uh, if you want to have help for any character like for SI some function starting with SI you press as uh, you write SI and press tab twice after that yeah so it will tell you about all the functions which uh, reflect on that identity and uh, also come out with that for example uh, I want to learn about the packages which start with uh, uh, the reference you know so maybe as T and I press the tab twice so it will give you the other options as well all about various options available and how it can be used and what way it can be utilized you know and uh, here again with I close it you know on the go on the move right I again come back to my help by just pressing the question mark and that can be reflected on the idea of uh, you know coming together and defining the package so here we come across the different packages and again I want to clear the screen so it is control C uh, control C back to clearing the control L to clear the screen and control D to come out of the Julia you know control D and then we'll further come out of the reference of how best I'm going to be utilizing it using the packages and the other things in particular after we download that Julia compiler 
Well, friends, in continuation of our Julia programming module, we exhibit at the high level programming language, which talks about programming skills from any background to learn the language. It is open source and free, developed by what I have already mentioned initially by the MIT, by Jeff, Stephen, and Viral. Developed in 2012, started the development in 2009. Popularly known as technical data science, high performance computing, high level flexible language, and can compile efficient native code for multiple platforms via the low level virtual machine LLVM. It also acts as a powerful shell like ability to manage other processes and is designed for parallel as well as the distributed computing in particular. Friends, we talk about its user definition, it's more like that of a functional paradigm shift through, certainly it isn't popular as that of Python, but there are some huge benefits to using Julia for data science and makes it better choice in a lot of situations that of Python. As you can see the screen for Julia, which contributes to the learning, the working, and it also initiates as a high level syntax, which is easy for the programmers of any background to learn the language. It gets compiled with the any native code for multiple platforms, low level virtual machine, easy to learn and fast to execute in particular. Some of the books, some of the courses available for Julia talks about getting started with Julia at Udemy, Julia Scientific Programming at Coursera, Introduction to Julia at Julia Academy, Mastering Julia 1.0 as a fact, and Coding for Non-Programmers in Julia is one of the books available. Also on the go is its high performance, dynamic programming expertise with the help of the general purpose language. It can be used for writing any application used for various features suited for numerical analysis and the computational science in particular. Well, we talk about, while Julia, everything as an expression and with the very initiation, extensive default mechanism of built-in functions and all generic and extensible sizes are available. Machine language, the clause, the convergent design all has the dynamic default and the parametric types are available here. By default, Julia runtime must be pre-installed as user provided source code is run and executed. And it also has an alternate of standalone executable which needs no Julia source code can be built with package compiler for sure. Well. It has been used to perform the beta scale computing with various libraries and defines with uh, the very inception of learning about particularly on the go of reference. The scenario also deals with the very initiation on how best we integrate. So Julia is already used by various major companies including Aviva, Black, Rock, Capital One, Netflix, as well as by more than 700 universities and research institutions. And of course, it's nature catering to different use cases, dynamically typed with the support for rational declarations faster than the current programming languages of that of R, Python, and the MATLAB in particular. Well, friends, as we know, Julia is a programming language created specifically for data science, complex linear algebra, data mining, and machine language. And it has some great features which makes it possible for uh, the defined objective. Well, we talk about it as a high performance computing, that is HPC, bending to the needs of the big data applications. And the speed remains essential for the go. So the programs are getting more and more complex and time consuming to develop. So for sure, the setup has been 
into this programming language and uh, above all Julia is this of base particularly on the go it is built using the multiple dispatch on types payable functions because of the test of the recursion it does not fully optimize the recursion but uh, very well on this platform it is used to receive the fastest times for this type of problem which is known as the tail call optimization in particular also it released in 2012 and its creators wanted to combine the readability and simplicity of python with the speed of statically typed compiled language like c you know so the defined approach talks about not particularly as an object oriented programming language but in full sense you know and uh, it has built in methods objects and uh, through which particularly you know we can define it as a kind of a cosy object oriented line and has distinctly different than uh, the oops in particular due to its computing abilities it is scalable and is faster than python and r and uh, of course when we are talking about the big data it is incredibly powerful native tools such as the ml base in particular well when asked as reference to uh, why this name so alan edelman turned down the thought that it was named after the fractal but particularly claimed that it just came up in a random conversation years ago when someone suggested the arbitrarily that julia would be the good name for a programming language like this and uh, it has an interface directly with the external libraries written in C and Fortran. And it's also possible to interface with Python code by way of the PyCall library and even share the data between the Python and the Julia. So it supports metaprogramming as well and is a high level, high performance, dynamic programming language for technical computing with syntax that is familiar to the users of other technical computing environments in particular. It provides a sophisticated compiler, distributed parallel execution, numerical accuracy, and also works at the speed of C with dynamism, dynamism of Ruby, the mathematical notations like MATLAB, and as usable for general programming as Python, and as easy for statistics as R. So that's the beauty. When compiled like C or Fortran, it is fast and uh, unlike C and Fortran, which are compiled before execution, Julia is compiled at runtime, you know, just in runtime for execution and looks like little an interpreted language, you know, wherein uh, much like that of uh, Python on the go. So the, some of the various uh, integrated development environments and the editors for Julia include the Juno, the Jupyter Notebook, the Jupyter Notebook as highly recommended and then we have Vim, the third one that's in the list Vim for its highly advanced customized features. Then we have Julia Pro, Weave, Julia Box, Julia Studio and above all Atom. So that's the reference we are aiming at on the go with the reference of this objective uh, of uh, Julia programming language. Also, it has the special features that of multiple dispatch, good performance, build in package manager, call C functions directly and parallel computing. It also has an augmented feature of uh, running like cat fast and run cat comma five times. So dispatch with different methods. It has the LLVM based just in time JIT compiler combined with the language design allowing it to approach and often match the performance of C and has the capability to compile codes that reads like Python into the machine code that performs like C almost entirely you know with the ability to execute and the best part of uh, Julia is also that it is about uh, the reference and uh, it has a better choice in a lot of situation that Python and the foreign function interacts to a number of languages like C and Fortran even C++ you know uh, which was uh, makes it relatively easy to use code in any of these languages 
it can even call C functions directly. The machine instructions generated by Julia's JIT are the same as native C call would be, so resulting in overhead in the same as calling functions. So that's a simple programming which talks about using the common functions on the go and uh, it has uh, poses a mature package of ecosystem that can be used as a feature complete replacement for R or a Python programming language. And friends, for sure it is defined as a high level language which means it's easier to learn, it's normally faster to write code in a higher level language. When we talk about some of the disadvantages, well, if I say it lacks the ability to use conditionals unlike Python and one can do this uh, for loops and if else though as normally done and uh, it talks about Julia dictionaries which are hushed differently than Python dictionaries and above all uh, it talks about being flexible which is an advantage over others dynamic appropriate for scientific and numerical computing and uh, it talks about uh, better performance of computing as far as the programming is concerned and Julia combines features of many programming languages like that of C, MATLAB and Java in, in particular. So that's the difference which we tend to reflect on the go in particular, uh, particularly on the very notion of uh, expediting and understanding the artistic format of the Julia programming languages in particular. Well friends, finally we conclude of the fact about the Julia programming as a scientific programming language, computing language which can support flexible dynamic language and acts as a perfect perfection towards scientific computing and numerical computing in particular. Well, as we have already revisited, Julia is a high level programming language It is an open source, high performance, high level dynamic programming language that is used in scientific computing in a big way. Well, the statistics suggest that it's primarily being given a due recognition due to its speed as compared to Python and R and provides a support in performing different tasks such as cloud computing above all as a fundamental aspect to the big data analytics. It is being used by research scientists, engineers and uh, as mentioned we get to know about Julia installation you know through the julialang.org it has installation uh, support for various platforms including that of Linux, Mac OS and the Windows in particular. As far as the features are concerned to revisit, it is a dynamic typing resembles scripting and has a good support towards high level programming rich in descriptive data and also matches the compilation, object orienting and functional programming codes and is an open source, you know, with uh, packages like that of interact.jl which is an interactive widget such as down, drop down sliders, checkboxes, generic linear algebra colors.jl, unicode plots.jl, nemo that is the computer algebra package, revise that is an update function 
for automatically running Julia session. And above all, it acts like uh, distributed computation and parallelism using two primitives such as remote calls and the remote references. Also, it has a type system that is dynamic in nature. And as compared to Python, Julia has recently been joined in 2012 the launch has taken place and hence it is more towards numerical and scientific computation and faster by default through the just-in-time compilation a mathematical friendly syntax with uh, reference to silent execution and above all it has features with further add-on versions supports third-party packages and has an advantage over Python in a big way it also acts like a data visualization and plotting through plots.jl packages and above all helps to build deploy and embed the codes on a web server and also provides meta programming facilities and Lisp like macros and has robust capabilities for interacting with the user. The data interaction is equally competent and it scales up through being a powerful tool for AI, machine language, that is machine learning and the deep learning process. With the mathematical syntax of Julia, it is easy to express the algorithms through the models defined and differentiated. It includes the capacities for decision trees, linear models and clustering, integrating artificial intelligence at place and also enables advanced understanding with an expertise on machine learning and computational artificial intelligence with this very spectrum of Julia in particular. Also, we keep a note of this with reference and the execution on the go that how best we are integrating the Java uh, or the Python complex feature into Julia and uh, getting started exhibits with its computing power and uh, the preparedness which the users have with the very reference of how best it can be integrated and getting started with Julia programming talks about that scenario. We can always plug into the various formats and refer to the learning style well it also integrates about how best I'm going to be utilizing the power of Julia as a programming language and defines how best we are going to be talking about installing the Java platform defining the variable types and the operations the functions the control flow the collection types the meta programming, the input output networking, the running of the external programs, the standard library and the packages, the list of macros and the packages in use, all these come as a ready reckoner and refer to the programming module in a big way. Also, the rationale of jo Julia includes the scope of Julia, the Julia's place among other programming languages, a comparison with other languages for the data scientist and above all the scope initiates the computational problems as it is an open source with a free liberal license 
It is designed to be an easy to use, learn, elegant, clear and dynamic interactive language by reducing the development time and uh, also integrates computational power and speed without having to leave the Julia environment, you know. And it also incorporates metaprogramming and macro capabilities to increase its abstraction power. So that is one of the features. It is also useful for general programming purposes and not only in pure computing disciplines and has a built-in above all for use of concurrent and parallel capabilities to thrive in the multi-core world as it unites all in one environment designed and drafted by the researchers with the thought analysis. It talks about the static compilation step. The machine code is generated in just in time by the virtual environment. And the compiler together with the design of the language helps Julia to achieve the maximal performance for numerical, technical and scientific computing in particular. Also on the go, a ready reference talks about Julia programming, which exhibits a comparative study with other languages for the computer scientists, which includes C to Fortran, but it above all talks about instantly having a familiarity with MATLAB and uh, above all the R programming language which was still now the chosen development language in the statistics domain. Julia proves to be as usable as R in this domain and uh, performance increases of a factor of 10 to 1000 here as per the references. Even Python comparison, well, as far as the high performance computing is concerned, Julia comes at a better hand stroke. So that's the reference and we can always refer to with uh, the version of uh, the download uh, compiler maybe you know windows or the platform can be executable downloaded existing in the three major platforms the windows linux and the mac os operating so it would like to be you know the pre links are available on julialang.org slash downloads and you can very well start off with the double clicking execution and you have a black screen Julia in this particular program that has a special mention this is the screen which you get right and here you can always start with uh, more of uh, commands and updates and this environment can help you with Julia prompt you know you can always get the execution with the Julia shell you know and that can be made applicable with uh, the quotes to clear the interrupt a current command is control C to clear the screen you have control L and to reset the session so that variables are cleared enter the command space in REPL you know so that is what is the scenario thank you the quality books a must for all school libraries in a big way this is Dr. Dheeraj Merutra initiating some of the introductory books for teachers educators school owners heads of schools and initiation towards quality learning for one and all. The target is towards uplifting the standard of learning.
quality books. We have NLP for teachers, which integrates and empowers teaching teachers and the learners to rediscover the power of teaching via the human excellence towards quality literacy for all. It is a means to manipulate human building approaches via tools of neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, as practice for developing total quality student as one of the initiatives of any quality school with the approach of unleashing the power of success and happiness for teachers, students, parents in particular. Well, this defines the wide experience of educators, how they can cope up with the teaching learning pace towards gathering a wow learning culture within schools. Then we have 200 WOW Parenting Skills, a must for all school libraries. It initiates learning about parenting skills in a big way. 200 WOW Teaching Ideas is an initiative for teachers, educators, learners to initiate learning as a priority. Also, it talks about strategies of teacher training and also reflects on making it a priority among all. Well, the idea is to catch them young and innocent. It also integrates learning with a perfection of gathering, inception and integration in the learning scenario. Well, to reference, it experiences the very approach of teaching as one of the noblest professions and to the surprise of many the most trusted profession in the world next comes nursing to teach is to preach and there has to hence be some innovation in teaching practices we cannot just be teaching as we were taught and hence of course, there comes the importance of 200 WOW teaching ideas to provide quality at all levels of teaching and learning. 200 WOW teaching ideas would help and inspire the teaching fraternity to explore excellence and students' delight, which is nonetheless the requisite today rather than just being a desire. Friends, we must learn to explore the power of learning with a spree of learning to learn as a hobby rather than an occasional occurrence for the future builders of a nation, our students. We also have 101 school management strategies, which is an idea towards integrating learning and making it a priority. Also, the reflective idea is towards initiating the task of how I'm going to be integrating learning ideas within classrooms. Friends, 101 school management strategies is an idea, is an initiative to govern this effective school management on the go. It reflects how we can integrate learning and how we can manage the schools effectively. Obviously, post-corona, that's a great challenge now. Then we have 200 habits of highly effective learners. Friends, this integrates what and why about being a learner. It also encapsulates about how we can initiate learning Hence, has to be a hobby rather than an occasional occurrence. Well, of course, with yesteryears of learning methodology, we just cannot seek perfection and hence there is a need for new strategies and implementations. The 200 Habits of Highly Effective Learners is an experience, is an experiment and is an idea sharing opportunity to introduce new practices required to achieve excellence for any learner in any field. For sure, Six Sigma in education towards TQM in academics is an initiative to deliver quality practices, the Kaizen philosophy of continuous development 
targeting ideas of learning and incorporating priority among the learners and the other stakeholders. It talks about learning as a priority above all and initiates, I repeat, initiates as an experiment towards excellence in education with a means to solve issues revolving around the teaching learning process. Also on the go is the 200 C++ source codes for class 10s and 12s, 99 safety and security anchors within schools. Now this comes as a priority of managing safety and security within schools for all heads of schools, teachers, educators, coordinators. The book 99 Safety and Security Anchors Within Schools relates to an emergent requirement towards assuring a safe and secured culture within schools. The checklist mounts at every pace with every new circular from the boards and the concerned authorities right from the registration of the school, the land, the numerous permissions, we get sanctioned, keeping the interest of the children in view just in order to get the recognition affiliation. And once it is done, we tend to ignore the things at its pace, unfortunately and unconsciously. The book highlights strong points and observatory facts which need an immediate attention. The catch is quality care, and concern via initiatives by the schools on priority. Also on the go is a series of computer learning, step-by-step -step computer learning for classes 1 to 8 by S. Chand and company. You can also order it at Amazon. Then we have artificial intelligence basics for school students, class 9, class 8 and class 10. A basic book of artificial intelligence and machine learning which integrates Priority based learning, the concept of artificial intelligence and machine learning has been in practice for over years with the advent of technological progress. Over time, it has blended our lives through nearly every narration of learning, teaching and enjoyment. For sure, the aspect delivers a common understanding of the topics with reference to making an impact on our lives with a better framework of technology affecting our lives in particular. Let us look up to science for a change to be brought about us. Let us create awareness of making technology available to people in a broader sense. As that happens, people are responsible needed as well to be told about the use and the misuse of the same. As we lead our lives, we come close across with the fact of incorporating AI, robotics and learning with the very inception of learning to learn as a priority. Get on your copy at Amazon. This is about Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, the quality education icon, a must for all school libraries, how he could manage, how he could bring out the biggest school on earth in Lucknow, the city Montessori school, get to know about the secrets and what he believes, his theories and philosophies about quality education and world peace. Then we have 100 green schooling ideas towards a sustainable culture in schools as a priority for one and all, a requisite with sustainable culture in schools on the go. We also have roadmap to a new normal safe school, a must for all school libraries, Amazon your copy today, be prepared for the new normal. Then we have super teaching over 1000 practical strategies a must for all school libraries, teachers, educators. This is a book for IAC computer science using Java for class 11th by S. Chand and company. Then we have tips for choosing the right career. A must for all counselors, heads of schools, teachers, parents. IAC computer science using Java for class 12th by S. Chand and company. Then we have basics of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Also on the go is the experiential learning for educators, which is a priority as per the national education policy. We all look forward to that preface. 
the national education policy talks about experiential learning as a priority, defines the job of a teacher as a lifelong learner and as an educator using learning as a hobby rather than just being an occurrence, occasional occurrence. Managing and teaching in a class or school is a science more than that of an art which is reflected using experiential form of learning. The arena of quality in education today demands some more reflection away from classrooms and through doing for self. The classroom scenario today demands more of an experiential experience and story modes and real-time fascinating teaching environments unlike our years of learning as students. The book empowers learning by doing and encapsulates fun and framework based sharing of knowledge in particular. Then we have a series of computer learning books. Also is the step-by-step -step computer learning for classes 1 to 8, ISC computer science for class 12th. We have reflective 101 school management strategies, 200 Java source codes for ICSC. Then we also have high performance traits, how extraordinary students become that way. So that's a priority. Then of course, NEP 2020 at a glance for educators towards excellence in education talks about the priority of how and why about the national education policy and the how the educators should prepare for implementation. Then we have coding for kids in Python, which includes basics of programming skills in Python. Digital body language, yes, for sure. A new concept talks about learning about the traits of how we should behave while we are online. The book initiates the knowing about the choice of attributes on working online. It experiences the habits online with preface towards Google presence, online reputation management, and what a why of doing things online. It studies the reflections on working online. It also encapsulates the winning secrets of parenting. It integrates the quality parenting skills and it's a ready reckoner for the new age parents towards effective parenting and teaching them life skills to cater to the needs of the new age in particular. A must buy for all home libraries, the school libraries. Career planning is an initiative about the traits of defining a career, how the children should prepare for various careers and to be a great learner in life. It also talks about career test, your knowledge test, your behavioral test and expert learning. Marketing mantras for schools towards effective school management is an idea towards managing schools. It talks about priorities on the management on the go with reference to setting up schools effectively then of course impact of information technology on quality education in schools and finally we have 100 simple teaching methods hope you guys take the opportunity of learning and grooming yourselves with the march of time thank you take care and god bless